Hi everybody, uh, my name is Steve Wallace. Uh, all my stuff's going to say Robert Wallace because I go by my middle name and uh, I actually did that to my own son. I don't know why, uh, but it's confusing. But anyway, I go by Steve. This is my personal intro video for Module 1 EDL 850 School Law Course. Uh, so a little bit about me. Um, my family's down here at the bottom of the page. Uh, my wife Anne, uh, athletic trainer for KU Volleyball. Um, my little girl Addie is four. My little boy Noah there is uh, going to be two in about a week. So uh, we live in Kansas. Uh, I just recently took a new job at Gardner Edgerton High School uh, just at the beginning of June. So I'm still got a lot to learn. So a lot of what I talk about today will actually be at my previous school, which was Shawnee Heights High School in Topeka. Uh, Gardner is a uh, is in Johnson County, which is a suburb of Kansas City. And then I was at Piper High School before that in Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, I, I took a kind of a different path into education. I was a college basketball coach for a while, um, moving around the country, and decided I wanted to put some roots in and start a family. And um, and I was born and raised in Olathe, Kansas, so here we are. Um, also coach boys basketball, head coach at uh, Gardner and Shawnee Heights and Piper. I uh, got my undergrad in secondary education, social studies from KU, master's from KU in physical education, sports studies. I'm certified to teach social studies, psychology, PE, and health. And basically, I've, I've done uh, team sports PE, and I've taught almost everything you can in social studies except U.S. history, although I did do that as a uh, student teacher for a while. So um, done a lot, seen a lot um, with college coaching and in the classroom. Uh, critical evaluation of my school admin. Like I said, because I don't even, I barely know my new admin. I'm basing this off of my previous job, but uh, I really rely on the fact that our admin does know the law because I don't know very much, which I know is the next slide, but I just wanted to kind of say that as a upfront thing here. So here's what I do know about um, what our administration knows about law. Um, with SPED, uh, we have the IEPs that each teacher gets. Uh, that we that we're supposed to follow, and that can have anything to do with uh, you know tests and uh, given extra time or less questions, whatever the IEP says, we need to follow. Uh, safety concerns: uh, we do fire drills, I believe, once a month. Uh, tornado, and we do lockdown drills as well. Um, one legal issue that came up this year is the student walkouts um, that were um, walking out. Mostly, uh, you know, because of the shooting in Florida, but also about gun violence. So there was a discussion in the leadership team. I was on, I was the social studies uh, department chair. Um, so I was on the leadership team and we discussed how we were going to handle students walking out of class um, and what policies and, and laws we needed to far, follow as far as a student walkout. And again, uh, the teachers relied heavily on the administration to make the, those decisions. Um, <clears throat> student suspensions and dismissals. So I, I know our administration followed uh, strict um, guidelines um, with how long kids were suspended based off of what was going on and also dismissal from school um, following those procedures. Um, drugs, alcohol, and fighting kind of fall under that suspension deal as far as following um, policy and law when it comes to those things on school grounds. Uh, social media, I know that our uh, admin had to deal with some bullying, which is the next point here uh, on through social media. And I know there's a, pretty, there's a lot of uh, uh, lawsuits and a lot of things in the court system right now based off of social media and schools. Um, hiring and firing process, uh, I was a part of uh, groups that did hiring of teachers and coaches at some points and we had to you know follow strict guidelines on questions we could ask questions we couldn't uh, how many people we had to interview um, uh, all those little things like that uh, driving students at my this last school I was at they were very strict on the guidelines and followed the laws very closely on who could drive students and what they had to go through in order to be able to drive students, and that included teachers. Uh, we had to take a special driving course. We had to get a physical, of course, pass background check, which all teachers already have to do, things like that. 
Our superintendent is highly involved in legislation in Kansas, and he would follow the law as far as uh, you cannot um, really, I don't know the correct terminology, but talk politics through a school email. So he actually allowed us to opt into a private email, and he would keep anybody that wanted to keep updated on the ongoings of legislation in Kansas. For those of you in this course that aren't in Kansas, uh, funding uh, is a major issue in Kansas and has been in the courts and our legislator for years now trying to figure that out. So he kept us up to date on that but did not use a school email. Uh, privacy things, we have you know pass, passwords uh, that have to be changed constantly, uh, student data, student grades, all that sort of stuff is uh, kept in a locked system and that that sort of thing. Um, they uh, kept us up to date as best they could during our PD. We had lots of PD. We had one PD a month uh, and they kept us up to date with um, different on uh, things that were going on in, uh, in schools that we needed to get get going uh, like our lockdown drill. We updated a lot of, of that this past year and actually we're just going through lockdown drills and when we're going to do them like do we do them during a passing period to see how that goes um, so different things like that to try to make schools as safe as possible um, and that's basically those are all the things I could think of that have to do with uh, laws and policies and procedures uh, critique of personal knowledge I rely heavily on others like I said I rely heavily on our school administrators to know the law if and I kind of uh, I don't check up on them if they have the if they tell me this is what we're doing I'm gonna go ahead and go with them which maybe isn't the correct way to go about it but um, I took one school law class previously maybe two even um, and I did learn some things in there but it was so long ago that it's great to have a uh, an update on this I did teach government so I do have a broad knowledge of um, some of the education Supreme Court cases and uh, those sorts of things but I'm not comfortable with the details of school law if certain things came up I would definitely want to rely on a, a mentor or long-time uh, administrators uh, plan that I propose to improve is this course uh, doing other PD and continuing education opportunities that deal with school law as I continue my path to being a school leader uh, keep up in the news about school legislation and court cases uh, you know I kind of learned that from our last superintendent is to be involved in those things um, and hopefully in this class I can pick up some resources that will um, you know fast track me to keep me updated on what's going on in school law what's what's new what are some things that um, educators have ran into um, like I mentioned I know you know social media and how to deal with that uh, when it comes to bullying and things like that and also drugs and alcohol and social media and different things like that and how to handle that I'm sure there's lots to learn I'm sure there's some resources that could uh, help me out that I hope to learn in this course so uh, that's a little bit about me and where I've been and what I've learned um, I got a lot to learn about school law. Looking forward to learning about it in this class. Thank you for watching.